ICH, uh, as I said, the type, uh, uh, we're talking uh, about an acute disease. The problem with the acute disease is that there is hematoma expansion. And the driving force behind this hematoma expansion is coagulation or end uh, blood pressure. Uh, so um, things concentrate on these two issues. Um, so hematoma expansion can, might be prevented by a very strict blood pressure control. Uh, we have several studies all go in the same direction. They all have shown, or many of them have shown, there is an effect on reduction of hematoma expansion. But again, it, uh, it's not clear whether this is turning into a clinical benefit for the patients. So this is definitely still an open area, the effect of blood pressure, um, of the effect of blood pressure measurement. The other thing is on surgical therapy. The problem with uh, surgical therapy is, number one, there are various methods that can be used. Um, and um, that's one problem of all the studies that we have so many, that we have a big mixture of methods that were applied in different time windows, different patients, different location of uh, bleedings. There is a difference between patients who have their ICH located in the lower structures of the brain and in the deep structures of the brain with and without intraventricular extension. And um, so trials that we need uh, are needed to look at specific location, to look with and without interventricular hemorrhage and the different uh, and, and comparing specific methods. For example, um, in former times, people tried to help these patients by, do it, by just evacuating the ICH, which means you have a burr hole, and through that burr hole you suck the blood out. Uh, nowadays, there are so-called minimally invasive surgical methods, uh, which may or may not be uh, successful. Uh, and I still have to prove uh, to have uh, to are of uh, clinical benefit for the patients.